Language is uh, is a unique fingerprint of a culture, right? So when we were thinking about AI for Bharat, we were really genuinely thinking, what is AI for Bharat, right? Um, and a computer vision algorithm would also have to be optimized for images in India. But the uh, customization that you need for languages is significantly higher. The origin story is quite interesting because this was the time when deep learning uh, was taking off, right? It was sort of like the previous generation of AI, this one being generative AI. Uh, and we started teaching courses on deep learning together. Uh, we realized that the area is moving from being uh, somewhat theoretically driven to being more practically driven, uh, doing things at scale, uh, building out these models was interesting. So we started teaching. Uh, we got a lot of people who were interested to then build this out practically. And that's when the idea of AI for Bharat started, right? So let's build uh, these systems for real. Uh, often they require a lot of investment. So we put in some of our money, bootstrapped it, uh, and just got going. Um, and it evolved interestingly. Initially, we started um, thinking of many, many use cases. I remember students in IIT Madras uh, putting uh, cameras on helmets and doing some computer vision. There were other people doing other things. Uh, then we realized we need a focus. Uh, and we chose to focus on Indian languages, right? given how important it is for us uh, in a very multilinguistic uh, country. Uh, and we chose to build out models for translation. Uh, and somehow a few things we did, a bunch of students, their work sort of strung together. Uh, and we built translation models in the open source, which were competitive or even better uh, than closed source op uh, offerings from uh, big tech companies. India is probably the largest consumer of in English language content globally. In some sense, we are very uh, diverse. We do the English stuff that we benefit from the English language models, but we have a large population which is also interested in Indian language content. If you look at the numbers of uh, Indian language news channels, right, their viewership, it's pretty large. We still have many surviving Indian language print newspapers, right? So the languages continue to survive, but uh, they always need to be updated to the latest technology. So in this case, uh, we, we are missing technologies that um, are uh, required to bring these languages and interface them with the evolving AI landscape, right? So that really was the opportunity. There is a lot of innovation to be done at the use case layer, right? Which is how do we make the models which are good uh, on their raw performance useful for a user, right? And I think that's where most of the innovation that is private funded, um, that is um, that is use case oriented needs to happen, right? Um, and the deeper layers, they can become uh, sort of building blocks. I, I think one of the key things is uh, providing greater belief to more people uh, that they can build on top of these layers, right? So imagine a developer, a small startup thinking, hey, let's add a voice system to our app, right? Uh, their ability to do that and succeed if they were open source components becomes much larger. So I think there's also this collective belief in the country that we could do that. And I think that's important because um, uh, creating a talent pool that is able to build uh, and build for India becomes uh, critical as we go along. We are living in a country where we are surrounded by problems, right? And many of them could be solved with generative AI, not all, but large fraction, whether it's access to information, access to education, uh, sometimes initial help in healthcare, etc. I think there's a lot uh, we could do in the country as we adopt generative AI. I think India needs to have the belief that we are a large uh, player in this. And, uh, and part of that is the ability to train your models from scratch. Uh, I think that's a necessary prerequisite uh, to have the talent pool in the country to do it. At the same time, leverage any existing model, commercial, open source, etc. Right? Uh, but a key component I see, and I, I think the work done by AI for Bharat and uh, various government efforts, I think there is outstanding, uh, is to provide the energy in the ecosystem for more people to become builders of this technology, adopters of this technology. Right? I think that's the only way. If we have Indian platforms, Indian entrepreneurs building on top of it, we'll have a critical mass to go after it. But I'm super bullish that India will lead the wave in adopting this technology.